the obstacles that keep those who care for her in captivity as they wait for our freedom. I pray that those who are the leaders of this country and the leaders of Russia, the, le the leaders of a country so far and so far and see the human being behind her and that she's not a pawn. That's she's right. not a pawn That's in right. any That's political right. game, That's in right. any, in any legitimate cry of peoples. She is a player, a, a, an artist. Release her. Release her. Dear God, all of us, we stand Jews, Christians, yeah. those who have faith in human life itself, mm. and those who believe in the, the nature as God itself. We pray with one voice, with one voice we pray, hear us and all leaders hear this cry of yeah, your people. Right. Amen. Amen. We also agree, amen. 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 Natalie Renee Perkins. I come from a congregation that believes that freedom cannot rest God, we come to you today with righteous outrage for how long our dear sister has been detained in a foreign land. You hold this for us. We ask today, God, that you hold and keep with May she feel your presence and may it strengthen her. May it fortify her mentally and emotionally. Protect her physically, God, as her body endures that no body we know her help comes from you, God, so we ask that you open our minds, give us the creative imagination to know how we can best be your hands and feet, your voice, and how to do your will in getting our sister out of this political game That's right. and bringing her home. We are tired, Lord, tired of black women being devalued. Tired of our bodies being used as pawns. Amen. Tired of how we live and how we love being criminalized. We ask in your mercy, yes. deliver her from evil, Holy One, and deliver us all. I say an amen. 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 Reverend Amanda Hambrick Ashcraft. We read in your holy scriptures that where two or more are gathered, you are there with us, God. And so we come tonight in that spirit of the ancestors who have gone before us and in this global cloud of witnesses who are here tonight praying with us. I come from a congregation with Natalie Renee. We stand for love, period, and that is why we are here tonight. Our beloved sibling, Brittany, has been wrongfully detained by the Russian government for 130 days. 130 days. That's almost half a year. Brittany's been classified by the U.S. State Department as wrongfully detained, though we didn't need that official classification, we know it. It is clear, as has been said before, she's being used as a political pawn in a devastating, already immoral war. So God, we do join you tonight in saying clearly that humans are not political playing pieces. Amen. All of our holy texts remind us that all lives are sacred we share this with our multi-faith siblings. Brittany is a beloved child of God, and that is reason enough that we lament in these public squares as the prophet Amos calls us to do for her freedom. As the trials begin tomorrow, may judges, lawyers, witnesses mm. be filled with decency, mm. sanity, justice, and mm. love. May your hand hover over Brittany, her wife, her family, all who know and love her, Give them peace that surpasses understanding mm -hmm. because this does not mm -hmm. make sense. Mm -hmm. on, this right. is far from understandable. Grant us that peace when life feels dim, when freedom feels far, when it seems like no one cares, no one is listening, no one is mm -hmm. here. Remind us, God, that you are here holding us and you care. Mm -hmm. This country, our global community, has a sinful history of devaluing violence towards black women, mm -hmm. especially right. black queer women. Mm -hmm. We denounce that. We claim the power and name of a God who speaks a different truth. Mm -hmm. We know that if Brittany resembled me, with mm -hmm. blonde hair and blue eyes mm -hmm. and white skin, mm -hmm. her case from the beginning would have been completely yeah. different. So speak speak true. We know that Christianity has been married to white supremacy Come on. and homophobia for far too Come on. long. Even so, you teach mm -hmm. us a different way. 
We know a God whose power became incarnate in the brown Jewish homeless multi-ethnic person of Jesus who shows us that black lives matter and that we must stand up to oppressive systems. That is our moral obligation to set the captives free, to lead with love, to stand in the way of anything that rejects love. As Cornell West reminds us, justice is what love looks like in public. So here we are publicly proclaiming sanity and safety and freedoms for Brittany in the name of goodness and love and justice, in the name of the Prince of Peace, Come on. who cares for the orphan and the child, mm. in the name of God. We mm. call on that God because we are here. We are our hope, we are our possibility and our future. Mm. We lament loudly, we believe boldly, and we pray with our protest mm -hmm. until freedom, until justice, until love. Amen. 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 We call upon the God of the ages, whom we refer to as mother and father. We lift up particularly today what you often are willing to acknowledge that part of God which is the sacred feminine. For far too long, our religious institutions have looked at faith, looked at religion through the eyes of patriarchy. We come today representing those who not only don't do that in our faith, but don't do that in any walk of life. That is why we are here for our dear sister Brittany. If she were a man, this would not be happening. If she were a white man, this would not be happening. But because she is a woman and an African woman at that, she is being held here by the extension of this edifice behind us, Lord. This is her dungeon. And we have come, all of us, to loose her chains. We ask you, Lord, to intervene. First of all, to let her know that she is not alone. Yes. So many of us are in these situations and we feel that there's no one there for us. Lord, remind her every waking moment that you are right there by her side. Remind her family every waking moment that you are right there by their side and Lord let them know that because you are there that so are we there also and that we are there by the thousands help us to keep her in the forefront of our minds to make her a priority this is a travesty of justice and Lord as the millions cry out from a nation here in America where we are seeing more and more every day the bodily autonomy and the freedom of all women be compromised and taken away. Lord, remind us that we cannot seek freedom for all women if we cannot seek freedom for this one woman, our sister Brittany Wright. We must free her for all of us to be free. Lord, we ask you to stay with us. Ask you to stay with us. Send more here. Send more to pray. Send more to write. Send more to fight. Send more to call. Move this government to make a change. To intervene. To pick up the phone. She should not be a political pawn. Lord, we pray these this prayer on the shoulders of all of our beloved ancestors, particularly all of those who over the years found themselves in Brittany Griner's position. Come on. And whose freedom for whom we had to fight and whose struggle and whose incarceration served as an inspiration for us all. We ain't free until Brittany Griner is free. Lord, in particular, we lift up the name and stand on the shoulders of one ancestor and one prophet who's already outrun us to glory when he said to Angela Davis when she was in jail, James Baldwin said, we must fight for her life as if it is our very own. 
Lord, we fight for Brittany Griner's life. Her life is our life. For we know, Lord, as you have told us, if they take Brittany in the morning, they will come for the rest of us in the night. Amen. spirit of the ancestors and we're grateful to have uh, activists and leader of Until Freedom, Tamika D. Mallory and the family of Brittany Griner to come to address us today. Give them a hand up there. to all those who have gathered and even to the media, thank you for being here today. Uh, as you can see, it is not easy to get people to stand up for black women, yes. to cover black women, uh, and to fight for black women. But while we may come as, our, as one, ones, we stand as 10,000. We stand as 100,000. We stand as millions of people around the world who want to see Brittany Griner free. I have uh, the distinct honor of having many conversations with Brittany's wife and the pain of what is happening to her family, the uncertainty, uh, and also not being able to communicate with her is something that's truly inhumane. I learned that I actually, it was, someone mentioned in one of our conversations that at one point, Brittany's cell was not necessarily tall enough for her to stand in. And when I saw her on TV yesterday, I realized she's a real, real tall woman. And she would have to be accommodated in a special way. Even in my own home, I'm not sure that she would be comfortable because of her height, which has been used by America and Russia for their own pleasure. Come on, man to win basketball games. Mm. Come on. They used her in many ways, exploited the work of a black woman, but are not in this moment doing enough as far as we're concerned to bring her home. Brittany needs to be with her wife and her family. She has parents who may not be here today, but they are hurting. Her sister, childhood friend who is her sister, is here with us. She came from Texas overnight to be here to stand with those of us who would pray for Brittany as the trial is set to begin. I want to give her the opportunity to speak, but I want us to understand that this is real. This is a real person. It's not just a conversation about two countries maybe communicating, maybe not. We don't know much of what's going on, but we cannot sit by and just assume that either country is doing what is necessary right. to get Brittany home. That's right. Unfortunately, America, our country, where we stand today, has not proven itself to be reliable in standing up for black women. Black women. We have been left too many times by the sideline. Right. And to think that now, even after just last Saturday, where the US Embassy forgot to put someone on the telephone when they knew that Come Brittany on. would be trying to contact her family after four months of not Come speaking. On. And they said they, were, they did not have anyone. They forgot that it was happening on a Saturday. You can't forget Brittany. But that is why we are here today right. and why we will not stop so that they never forget, right. so that they are constantly reminded. And so that we make it very clear that while we may be here today praying outside of the Russian consulate so that their hearts and minds will be touched, we depend on and demand that America yes. be responsible yes. for bringing Bring Brittany Griner home. home no matter what we have to do. Yes. Right. Brittany Griner is valuable. Right. She means something to us. She matters to black women and she best matter to the administration that sits in Washington with the ability and the resources to do what is necessary for black women. It is one thing to appoint a black woman as vice president, which we appreciate. 
It is another to fight for a black woman to become the Supreme Court Justice. Those things are great. But it is something else to get in the mud yes. with us and fight yes. for black women who are being disenfranchised, who are being harmed, and someone who we know victimized. That's right, victimized. Victimized. Yes. Victimized. And monetized. being held. Monetized. 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 Give me some more words. Victimized. Monetized. And dehumanized. Brutalized. Brutalized. And even tortured. Unfortunately. It is torture to sit in a prison in this country, That's right. let alone in a different country That's right. where you can't see your family or speak to your family and you do not know the fate of what is going to happen to you. I saw her. I looked in her eyes. I don't know Brittany Griner, but I looked in her eyes. And when I saw the fear and the pain, it made me even more determined That's right. to stand for that black woman because I would hope that all of you That's right. would stand for me That's if right. I found myself in a similar situation. Amen. Let's hear from Janelle Ray, who is going to speak on behalf of her family. Um, I just want to thank everybody, of course, uh, for being here today, for the support, for the love for my family and I. Um, we know, obviously, my sister, everything starts on Friday, right? We've already know that she still has six months, no matter what. For everybody else, it seems like one thing for me, February 17th was the day, the last time I talked to my, si my sister. Mm -hmm. I haven't been in communication with her. I haven't been able to talk to her. Mm -hmm. And it hurts, right? You think about something like that and somebody like that, your best friend, your sister. I knew her on February 17th as a person. Who she comes out when she leaves Russia, mm -hmm. I don't know who she is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You sit somewhere that long, it messes with your mental health. Mm -hmm. Right, it changes you. Mm -hmm. You never know what you're gonna do. You never see your family. You can't talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. It hurts. We know that Russia has a 99% conviction rate. The only thing that we're asking as a family is that the administrations come together yeah. and work out something to let my sister come home. That's the only thing that we're asking is that my sister be back in the store in the United States for where she played. She was an Olympic gold medalist. So. Mm. Tell, like much, I said, tell them about her resume. Olympic gold medalist. Olympic gold medalist, all-star, mm -hmm. championship. Um, so I just want to thank everybody again for the support from my family and everybody else. Man, y'all have been tremendous. Like I said, you know, you never know who you're going to get home when you come back and you sit something like that for so long. So for her mental health, for the love and the grace of God, we're just praying that something will happen and something will change. Amen. And you're my Yes. Okay, and you just tell it, tell us your first and last name, and we'll make sure we get it right. You might spell it for us. Janelle Roy. Okay, Janelle, how do you spell your first name? Uh, J A N E L. And spell your last name? Roy R O Y. Awesome. So you have known Brittany your whole life, is that right? I have. And um, how have you known her? Just so we all know. Uh, we grew up together since high school. We played uh, sports together since high school. Um, I, I laugh and I joke about it. I tell her that I'm the reason why she can shoot. Uh, you know, she came in and she wasn't, she couldn't shoot a ball to save her life when we went to school together. Uh, she blocked my shot a couple of times. Obviously, I didn't really have a chance in, in shooting over her, but um, we grew, we've done everything together. Um, we've lost people together. We've won people together. Uh, we've had people try to even turn on us. And, you know, at one point, we had people trying to sit here and made us go against each other as if we were enemies. Um, and we had to look completely past that and say, you know what, we know what people say. Sometimes blood is thick in the water, right? So we went past all that and we never let each other go since then. There hasn't been a day that I haven't talked to my sister since that day. Um, even coming over here today, you know, when my sister-in-law called me, we were having a conversation. I told her, I said, man, I went through our text message and it, it, it sucks. You know, February 17th at 155. That was the last text message I got from my sister and I never heard from her again. Wow. You know, so uh, it hurt and I kept texting and I'm like, are you okay? Are you okay? Mm. And I never got a response back. Mm until the attorneys called me and told me that she was actually arrested. So. What are your uh, expectations or hopes or fears for Friday? Um, right now I'm just putting everything in the grace of God. That's all I can do is pray and pray to God that God is, is with us and that God is watching over her. Um, and that's all I can ask for right now is faith. 
any other questions. Can you just say your first and last name? I'm sorry. Tamika D. Mallory. That's T A M I K A D Mallory, M A L L O R Y. And just to answer the question about uh, what we expect to happen, understanding that the Russian courts have a 99% conviction rate tells us that it is a kangaroo court situation. Uh, and that is not promising. Uh, and we are hoping that in this situation, the 1% will prevail, um, in which they will decide that again, as has been said by many, that Brittany Griner should not be used in any way in a political uh, situation, and that she should be free, she should be with her family. We want folks to know that Brittany Griner is not the one. She is somebody who should be home with her family. It's not good for uh, either country to allow for this sister to sit there uh, in the Russian prison. Any word from the State Department, any developments at all? Well, we've heard that they are working uh, behind the scenes, but again, as I, I mentioned to you, um, uh, Sherelle, uh, Brittany's wife, does not have any confidence in a system that was unable to get someone to answer the telephone after Brittany had not been able to use the phone for four months. Um, and the first time that she called, she called 11 times that day, trying to reach her family and was unable to get through because our government forgot to have someone there on a Saturday. Uh, that's not promising. Uh, and so that's why we're here today to make sure, because sometimes America needs reminding. Yes. That's yes. Yes. And we're reminding, we're here to remind. Uh, you know, we understand the difficulties. I think sometimes what happens is that people believe that organizers and advocates don't understand political implications, that we don't understand the very severe nature of all the political tensions and what's happening at this time. We do understand, but we also know that there's always a bat phone. There's always a phone in the background that can be used to work out things that are not necessarily on at the forefront. And we're asking that the bat phone be used to free Britain Bryant. Specifically, there have been prisoner swaps. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Is that what you're, I mean, that really has to be where your yep. hopes are lying. Yeah, I mean, there has to be a negotiation and there will have to be a, and, and, and what I want to say that I hope I don't get in trouble for, but I think it's important to remind two men that have the power over and the agency over a woman's body not to make this an ego battle, not to have this be something that they are stuck um, in unwilling or unable to negotiate because of everything else that's happening. This is the type of situation that requires us to come together in, uh, in, the, in, in, in love, in the spirit of unity. And I know that all governments are able to work together to deal with certain things that are, are not necessarily part of the major crisis that is happening at this time. Again, we want the back phone, the back phone, used for Brittany Griner. May I, may I say a word? <laughs> Years ago, uh, Reverend Jackson and I, Travel the world, uh, and the government responded, as you all know, uh, by releasing uh, prisoners. So I say uh, to Putin, the Prime Minister uh, of Russia, and to all of the leaders, do the kind thing, yeah. do, do the compassionate thing. Let's forget the politics for a moment, and just let's remember that we all human, and this our system need to be home. So, President, you have an act, you have a chance to do what has already been set as president, to release this person just out of an act of kindness. Any others? I was wondering, Ms. Wood, if you could spell your name again for those of us in the back. Could you spell your name again? Mike? Yes. No, J A N E L L. Okay. And yes. uh, W O O D? No, no Roy, R O Y. Roy. Oh, okay. Roy. Roy. Thank you. Anyone else have anything to add? All right. Let's conclude well, with our final prayer. Mr. Tommy, give us our closing prayer. Who you are? I am Minister Jacarius Conley, a rising sophomore religion and psychology major at Morehouse College. So as we go before the Lord in the thought and practice of the Christian faith, going before God, who is a liberally giver of justice, 
Let's go before him. Father, it is in the kind name of Jesus Christ that we come now before you. We've come here from multicultural backgrounds. We've come here ascending before the throne of grace, praying that you would give our dear sister Brittany justice. Your word says whatever things are just, pure, lovely, not only think on these things, but embody these things. And it is a crime shame, Father God, that we are in between a war, a war between two countries who allow their egos to hurt a black body. So we pray now, we invoke the justice of God to rain down freedom for our dear sister. Where your spirit is, you said in your word, there is freedom, there's liberty. So we pray now that your spirit would give her comfort, that you touch her mind from the crown of her head to the very sole of her feet. Give her strength, give her tenacity, God. She's in a foreign land on foreign soil, not able to talk to her family, her wife, but we pray that the supreme ruler, the creator of the ends of the universe would grant liberty and justice, not tomorrow, for tomorrow's not promised God. But we pray for justice in this hour, in this moment, and in this second. Because God, you can and you will provide. These and all blessings we pray in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you all for coming out. Thank you. Until freedom and black voters matter. Cliff Albright and Latasha Brown are here. All the way from Atlanta, Georgia. Faith for Black Lives. Members of... Uh, middle collegiate, our rabbis, and all of the faith leaders who've come, and all of our allies and partners. And we want to continue to say that this is not the end. And we will stand with the family of Brittany Griner until she is brought back home to the United States of America. We will continue to apply pressure right. onto the United States and to Russia. And we will continue to escalate right. if need be because we recognize, as Malcolm X said, that black people are prisoners of war already in the United States. We were born prisoners of war. And so we are not going to allow our dear sibling, Brittany, to be caught in a conflict that she does not have anything to do with. That's right. And we are not going to allow the political tropes to divide us. The United States has classified this case as a hostage situation, wrongful detainee. And so we encourage President Biden and Vice President Harris to do all they can expeditiously right. to make sure that Brittany returns home. Right. Thank you all we for watching. We shall not, we, we shall, shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the wall.